Okay, today we're going to recover this device since it has a screen lock and also a forgotten Gmail account. In this video tutorial, we're going to use a completely different method to recover our device. If you want to fully recover your device, we always recommend watching the video tutorial step by step without missing any details. Since we'll get ahead of ourselves. In the video tutorial we are going to miss many important parts. And to avoid that from happening we recommend you watch the step by step video. Also in this video tutorial we are not going to use the PC. We are going to use a method completely without a PC, what are we going to do? First of all, ah, uh, let's connect to a Wi-Fi network before doing the process. Before doing the first process we are going to connect to a Wi-Fi network ah. Uh. As we can see here this little padlock appears and accessibility appears. Previously when accessibility appeared it was because our device was not completely locked. But with these new updates the devices have changed. It is no longer necessary for the device to have accessibility to be unlocked. But as it does not appear as long as the padlock appears. It is still locked, there are devices that do not usually show the padlock. That does not mean that it is not locked, that depends on the security. That will be the device. We are going to give it the following settings and we are going to connect to a Wi-Fi network. We are going to connect to a Wi-Fi network. We connect, we also want to tell you that we have other video by PC. We have method by PCA in the description of the video and in the first fixed comment we have those other methods oh we also have ah the YouTube community session that offers us for those subscribers for those people who want to support us. We have the member community session so that they can be part what would be the benefit of that community? Ah, the benefit would be that we will be publishing videos in advance of that community. We will be before they are published on YouTube we will publish it in our community. We will also be responding to all those comments from that community. So that they become part of our YouTube community up. Uh. As we can see here it would take us to the section where it appears. Of a screen lock a the time that we change our, our lock. Or our lock pin a there will always be a sudden moment when we. Forget that pattern or the password and what we do is format it when we. Format the phone and we do not delete the Google account it will be blocked but. What happens is that when we create a Google Gmail account it is advisable to always. Write it down so that these these things do not happen here we are going to give where it says. Use my Google account here it will ask me for my account that was what happened then. A yes we always when we create a Google account it is advisable to write it down. So that these inconveniences do not happen a as we can see here here there. As also the option to forget Gmail. Also when you create a Gmail account. It is always advisable to add a phone number. Also add a recovery email. If you lose the phone number you will have another. Recovery email to be able to recover your device. Here we go to write anything. Here also anything here also anything. We're going to do this for about 30 seconds. We're going to do this for about 30 seconds. When those 30 seconds are up we're going to quickly go back. To the beginning. We're going to do this for 30 seconds. We're going to quickly go back to the beginning. It doesn't matter if this gets stuck because in some cases it always tends to get stuck. 
It gets paralyzed, what we're always going to do then is go back quickly. It doesn't matter, as you can see it got stuck, but what we're going to do is go here here. To this option previously we also did not have a method where we with for the PC we can write atalisco numeral 0 atalisco numeral and in a single click we will be able to recover our device it is easy because we only execute a tool where a with this a with this with this code I would activate the ADB through this ADB the program. Sends a link and we will give it some permissions and from there with a single click. The device will do the whole process it will restart a it will recover. Your device in a single click it would take you directly to home but in this. Case we are not going to use the PC because not everyone has a PC for those people. Who do not have a PC we recommend watching the video step by step without so many complications. We are going to go here where it says accessibility here we have the Talbad. We enable that Talbad, we double click here on the orange letters. Double click or red as you see it. We are going to click here in the second option, we are going to double click here below. We also double click on it, then this will appear, you are going to say no. Here in the second option you are going to select. You double click it, then you're going to deactivate the save. We can do it by pressing volume up and volume down at the same time. The save would be deactivated. If we can't do it from here, double click, we now click here. We double click here, that save would be turned off. That said, once we turn off the save, we go back. Now we're going to give it forward here being. Here well let's continue let's go here to add we give it here. Being here a where all the Wi-Fi networks appear we're going to do another process. We're going to give it here where it says add new network here we're going to give this little wrench that appears here being here being here in these options. We're going to go down. We're going to go down, we go down. We're going to enter here, well, here we go back. We're going to give it, we're going to reset these four options that appear here. We give it reset, we're going to reset all of them, all the. We reset them, when we've reset all these settings. Now what we're going to do is restart our phone. We're going to press the volume down button, the volume up button, I say volume. Power button and the volume down button, we reset these settings. Now what we're going to do is wait for our phone to restart. When our phone starts completely we're going to apply the following. The following process A if you want always A if you want to solve what. Is this account deletion from your device you want recovery we always. Recommend watching the video tutorial step by step here A while in this one. In these videos that we always mount we do it a videos that we do not. Cut it we do everything live so that you cannot. Miss any of these details. Since we restart our device, what are we going to do? We are going to need another one from another unlocked device. We are going to need an unlocked device of the ones that can be Samsung or it can be Xiaomi. Any of these brands, another device, it does not matter the brand, sorry. Ah, uh, what do we need on the other device, we need this. We need to have what is a Google account. We need to have a Google account added. We are going to synchronize this account on the locked device. 
In this one we are going to synchronize the account, we are also going to need a screen lock. We are going to look for that screen lock, we are going to add a screen lock. We add it and what we are going to do is synchronize everything, how are we going to synchronize it? I am going to show you what we are going to do. We leave the device aside, we are going to do the following. We click on next, here a QR code will appear here. We click on the first option, in this code here we will be synchronized. But in some cases they usually do not synchronize. If you do not see this here on your phone. You are going to click here what is this little camera, in this little camera it will give you everything. It will scan this QR code here you will see this option to log in. Here this option will appear where it says start. The session will be synchronized. It will ask for the screen lock, the fingerprint, either of these two options. The pattern that this phone had, you are going to add it there. As here we had an L, we are going to add that L there. Because we have a screen lock. This is the one that we are going to be adding, when we add everything. What we are going to do is press the power button. Volume down button at the same time this, will make our phone restart. We are going to make our phone restart automatically forcibly. Now when our phone restarts completely. What we are going to do is be able to configure it. But apparently it seems that our device still has a Google account. But in this video tutorial what we are going to do is the email that we had. On this phone will be added and the phone will be added there, they will be added both a the email here will not be added. What is that Google account, let's finish. Configuring it, we click on next here. Now we are going to wait. We are going to wait a few seconds until it shows us. That account in that account. That is why it is always recommended watch the step by step video tutorial. So you don't miss any of these details and can solve it. We'll click here next. Here we can see the account we had on the other phone has been registered here. That's the advantage, they sync automatically. On both devices, we're going to click here where it says do not copy. We click here where it says skip. If you want you can add a lock or a lock pin. We're going to click here on skip. We click on skip and the email is rectifying that the email was added. We click on accept, we click on continue, we say no. For those people who suddenly want to reset their phone before resetting it a delete the account again. Since the account was synchronized, we click here on skip, we click here on skip. We click more, we click here, we click. Next here it would already take us to the last step. It would already take us to this last step. We wait a few seconds until we reach this last step. We mark it here, we click next here we will be finalizing the process. We will finish it, we click here start. Ready, now, now you want you can reset it. But you have to delete that, that, that account so that it is not blocked again. Here it is, this was the account that we added. Our device is now totally ready to use.